guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are back in Create a Sim. It has been a long time since I was in Create a Sim the last time. I think possibly like a month, a month and a half, something like that. But I did Rainbow Mermaids when Island Living came out and you guys really loved that video. So I decided to actually take a suggestion from the comment section. Someone said that it would be cool if I made rainbow witches and I kind of had a feeling that we would get witches here in September or maybe October. So I decided to just like postpone it a little bit and that means that now Realm of Magic is out. We are going to be making rainbow witches. I had so much fun with this. Also, just a little heads up, I know that pink is not a part of the rainbow, but I didn't want to make two blue sims, so I decided to turn one into pink. So the order goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then pink. And yeah, I do like all of them. I hope you guys will like them too. But let me know which one is your favorite. Definitely let me know in the comments section. And also a little heads up about the CC list. I will be doing one. I just haven't had time because I am currently in the process of moving. So pre-recording before going to Denmark has been a little bit of a struggle. I've had quite a lot to do because that's how it goes when there's new pack coming out. It's a stressful time as it is and then with packing on top of that and then moving and it takes three days to get to Denmark basically for me so because we're driving and it's just it's a long road <laughs> to Denmark basically. But uh, yeah so doing a CC list has been um, postponed until I am home and my setup is all you know set up and everything but I will be doing one so if you are interested in any of the CC that I use throughout this video definitely keep an eye on the community tab because I will be posting it over there once the CC list is up and everything so yeah that's basically it just keep an eye on the community tab if you want any of the CC but uh, yeah for these seven witches I was really trying to go for different styles for them actually so some of them are a little bit fashion inspired some of them are maybe a little bit more party inspired and then we also have some that are a little bit on the darker side and also the last one is definitely a cat girl. <laughs> You'll see that once we get to the pink one. I love the shirt that I ended up giving her but I was really just trying to give them different kinds of styles. So the first one, the red one, was definitely, she's definitely someone who's into fashion, slightly inspired by the Coven Witches from American Horror Story. For this one, the orange sim, I was originally going to go for kind of like a femme fatale sort of vibe for her. I found this leather dress that was kind of revealing a little bit, but it just, it ended up being way too orange for me, which I know is ridiculous because we're making rainbow sims, but I don't want to make them solid color. I think that's a little bit too much. Maybe I'll do like a berry rainbow sims at some point, or actually I think that would be a lot of fun. Let me know if you want to see berry sims as rainbow or in rainbow colors. Hopefully that made some sort of sense. Anyways, so I decided to change her style up a little bit and I ended up going for a dress that I actually think is from Simblerween, which is this sort of celebration, I want to say. <laughs> or it's not like a celebration, it's not an event. It's something that they do on Tumblr in the simming community. So basically throughout October, they'll do Simblerween. So the CC creators that take part of Simblerween will be making Hall Halloween inspired CC and they put it up and, or they turn on the porch light and you can go and trick or treat and they'll give you something. And it's kind of cute. I have been a part of it, not as a CC creator, but as a trick or as a trickster, as a trick or treater or whatever. You know, one of those that ask for trick or treats a couple of times, but usually I'll just wait until the end of the month or maybe November because then the CC creator usually or the CC creators usually make a big post with all their Simbleween treats so you don't have to go trick or treat every time because some of us are a little bit busy. <laughs> so yeah, usually I'll just wait until the, uh, the big posts are up on Tumblr and I'll go through everything and download it even though it's a little bit late because it's not October anymore, Halloween is over, but I still like having the CC for next year maybe and for purposes like this when we're making witches or when we were making mermaids, possibly even rainbow vampires at some point. That was actually one that was suggested 
quite a lot on the mermaids video, so if you want to see rainbow vampires, definitely let me know. I would be interested in doing that, definitely. So yeah, let me know in the comments section. Also let me know if there are any other themes you want me to do in rainbow colors, because this is a lot of fun. I like to play with colors in the game, and sometimes I miss creative quite a lot. So yeah, let me know if there's anything. But as you can see, the orange sim here is definitely turning into a witch as we speak. She's got her little Halloween dress on with the bats on as well. Let me know what kind of familiars you see the different uh, the different rainbow sims having, by the way, in case you, or at least if you know the names of the familiars by now or the different themes of the familiars, let me know. I'm kind of curious to hear you guys out. And also, I didn't actually come up with any names for them this time around. I did that the last two rainbow videos that I did, but not this time. I decided to just call them Red Charm and Orange Charm and Yellow Charm. So if you have any names for these girls, also let me know. I'd love to hear you guys out on that. So the yellow sim here is definitely another kind of fashion inspired, which I love the dress that I ended up giving her. It's from Sintate or Sintate. I'm not fully certain how to say their name, sorry. It's often like that with CC creators because you only ever get to read their names. You don't get to hear them say them out loud. So how are you supposed to know exactly how to pronounce their names? It's a bit of a struggle sometimes. You just kind of have to guess or something. But her dress is definitely one I could see one of the coven witches wearing in American Horror Story. It's just yellow. The coven witches only wear black and obviously as we're making rainbow sims, we can't really do that. So I had to go for a yellow dress instead. But I love how it looks. It looks so good on her as well. And I actually ended up giving her a hat that wasn't actually a witch hat, but I felt like it still fit her sort of vibe. Like because she's a fashion witch, so she doesn't have to wear like a traditional witch hat, but she's still wearing a hat, so it's inspired by a witch hat. Am I making any sense right now? I thought it made sense when I gave her the hat. <laughs> Anyways, I also gave her stars on her cheeks because I thought it would be cute. Plus, I actually found one of the ones that Piggy Pikachu on Tumblr made, so I gave her one of those too. They don't work in game because now we got new ones that actually are functional. It's just decor, but I thought it would be kind of cute. Also, because you can't find the the wands that you get in game, you can't find them in cast, so I had to use something else to sort of look like a wand. So yeah, but I hope that's okay. You might also recognize some of these sims, by the way, if you've watched other Create a Sim videos on my channel, because I actually didn't make any of them from scratch this time. I did that with both the mermaids and also the um the, the rainbow sims I did before that <laughs> but I felt like just taking old sims that I'd done before so I could spend extra time just choosing CC because it does take a while to make their faces so I hope that's okay as well but maybe at some point I'll have you guys make some sims and I can turn them into rainbow sims that would be kind of fun play with colors again I really love just playing with colors I think I've said this before but colorful hair like unnaturally colored hair in The Sims is one of my biggest loves, I suppose, when it comes to The Sims, like dressing up and stuff. I love giving my Sims purple hair or pink hair or blue hair. I think it looks so good on them because it's not necessarily something that you get to see in real life a lot. And personally, I've never dyed my hair either. I don't dare dye my hair because I have ginger hair and it's kind of like a rare hair color. So if I dye it, I'll probably never get my hair color back, so I just don't dare to. So I find it a lot of fun to play around with colored hair in the game. It just looks so good as well. Like like Snow White in my Disney Princess Legacy Challenge, she has purple hair with like a blue ombre as well. And or is it the other way around? Maybe she's got teal hair with a purple ombre. Honestly, don't really remember. I just remember making her and thinking, she needs like unnaturally hair co color. That didn't make any sense. She needs an unnatural hair color. <laughs> that made more sense because I just love that. So these rainbow videos definitely gives me an excuse to give my sims like unnatural colored hair. I just 
she's gonna love it so yeah but that's it for yellow she's basically done right now as you can see the dress is gorgeous it's so well made as well and I paired it with both high heels obviously she's a fashion witch and also sort of like a handkerchief around her neck sort of but like a choker I don't know what you call that I just love how it looked with the dress so I went for it and yeah so green for green I decided to go for sort of like a, like a party witch kind of vibe. So she's wearing this dress with glitter on it. It's got stars on it I also gave her a color that went perfectly with the dress surprisingly I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't that it wouldn't actually work But the cutout the neck or what would you call that? Yeah, the neck cut on the dress just fit the color perfectly So it's sort of it's an accessory actually and then I also gave her cat ears because you know black cats and witches It's a it's a thing so they fit her perfectly as well. I gave her heavy makeup as well and she's got thigh high boots and she looks good in my opinion. I also gave her my favorite short haircut that I have. I did get some comments on my last rainbow video that I should have gone for more short hairs. Honestly, I don't have a lot of short hairs that I like so I don't want to just use them just to use short hairs if that makes sense. So this is basically one of the only ones that I really like that, that I have, or at least that I can find because I have a lot of hairs. <laughs> I really need to sort out my CC because I have way too much. I have a lot of stuff that doesn't work, but it takes too long to sort it out. So I just, I need to take my time and just sit down and just do it. Um, but yeah, it's been a while since I've sorted out my CC, but I should probably get to it. <laughs> but yeah, so I gave her this haircut that I just, I love it. It looks so good on her as well. And her eyes are so striking with that makeup, by the way, because they're light green. They go really well with her haircut or her hair color. And then with the dark black makeup, it just kind of emphasizes them a little bit. So I loved that. And yeah, as you can see, we're choosing her outfit. We decided to go for a dress like I said this one actually which also came in purple I did consider for a second to not go with that one for her and then choose it for the purple witch instead later on but then I figured I'd probably just forget it once I got to the purple witch so I decided to go back and change it again so she got it and I paired it with the thigh high boots like I said as well and she looks really good in this outfit I love how it turned out but right now I'm just trying to find some extra accessories for her so she's not just wearing a dress and boots because I did go for dresses for most of these sims actually. I think for one of them I might have gone for a skirt and a top or maybe possibly two of them but generally I just went for dresses and either shoes or boots for them just because I had a lot of dresses. I don't... I rarely actually ever use full body outfits. I usually go for a top and a skirt or a top in jeans, a top in shorts, you get the point. So it was kind of, yeah, another excuse to just go through my full body outfits, go through my dresses that I don't normally use and just use them on these witches because I just, there's something about witches that just, they need dresses apparently. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> in my mind it works like that, so. So for the blue one, I was definitely inspired by the galaxy, also because I feel like it's it goes really well with the color blue, so if I had to go for a galaxy sort of theme for any of the witches, it would be blue. So for her, I decided to go for some crazy contact lenses. You can kind of pretend like they're her real eyes, even though they look absolutely crazy. They have stars in them, literally stars in them. And then I went for a dress with a lot of stars on it as well, and she has matching earrings too. So overall, like a galaxy sort of star theme, I really love how she turned out as well. Her haircut is definitely inspired by Sabrina, which is why I went for it. So I came across it when I was, I think I was making the orange sim actually. I saw it and I thought I have to use this haircut for one of the witches. It's perfect. It looks like Sabrina's hair. I just need to use it. So for the blue one, because of her, I think it was because of her, um, her, her makeup actually, I thought it would look good on her to have shorter hair. So I don't know why that's that made sense in my head at the time, but it just it did. So as you can see right here, definitely inspired by Sabrina and it looks so good on the blue sim as well. And yeah, her, her makeup is basically done. We're trying to choose her earrings. I went for these ones with a lot of stars in, on them as well. I'd already decided to just go full out on stars and galaxy for her. I thought it would be perfect. So um, yeah, I hope you guys like her outfit, even though it's a little bit over the top, but I mean, 
so are the other, so are the other rainbows themselves, but so, <laughs> I just, we did do, we did go for, like, an exaggerated kind of theme for them all, I feel, so. This is actually my fifth voiceover today. I am recording this on Saturday, and I'm leaving for Denmark tomorrow, so that's Sunday, so I have one more voiceover to do after this video, and it's currently a quarter to two, so while I'm sitting here talking, I'm a little bit worried that I'm waking up the neighbors, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but hopefully they won't come knocking on the door so that I can finish my work and finally just finish packing a little bit and then go to bed because tomorrow is gonna be a long, long day, but um, it has to be done, it has to be done. So anyways, we're done with the blue sim and we're moving on to the purple sim in just a second. So for the purple sim, I'd originally thought that I was going to go for sort of like a punk vibe to her because I thought that would go really well with purple, but then I chose her haircut and I came across the bow that she ended up getting and they looked so good together. It was almost like the bow was made for that haircut. So I decided to, instead of going full out punk, I went for like, sort of like a schoolgirl sweet punk, if that makes any sense. Hopefully you can still see the punk vibes. She's got tall sneakers on or tall converse sneakers on. So they're very high top. They're not just, they're calf length basically, not just normal high top, but calf length. And her stockings as well definitely have some punk vibe to it. She's got her school skirt or a schoolgirl skirt. So it's played and short. And then she's also her top is so witchy that I just had to go for it. It's actually a buddy stocking, but I think even the name of the CZ item has something to do with witch, so it was it was the obvious thing to choose for her. So um, yeah, but definitely a lot of purple going on in her. I did, for the other ones except maybe yellow, I decided to add a little bit of black here and there just to tone it down a little bit, even though on the last rainbow video that I did, I did get a lot of comments from people saying that everything should be the designated color on the sim, but I just don't like that. I don't like it to be over, like, it's a little bit over the top for me. I like to add a little bit of white or a little bit of black in these outfits so they're not just completely solid color. Maybe we'll do like a solid color rainbow cast video at some point. I don't know, let me know if you want to see that. <laughs> I feel like we should just continue making rainbow themed cast videos from now on apparently. But normally I just like to tone it down a little bit with either some black or some white, just like I did in the mermaid one as well. It just, it makes the outfits look a little bit better, a little bit more realistic I think. But um, yeah, I definitely like how this sim turned out. Her eyes are a little bit crazy, they're a little bit on the more realistic side, so not that Maxis match, but a little bit more on the alpha side. But I like how they looked on her, they just, they look really good on her in my opinion. <laughs> so um, yeah. Also definitely let me know if there are any other creative sim videos you want to see me do with witches. I would definitely be up for making more. So if you got any themes for that, let me know in the comment section too, and I'll have a look at it once I get all set up and settled in, in my new apartment and stuff. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to just working my behind off, to be honest. I just, all I want to do is make videos. <laughs> I know, I'm super exciting. Anyways, so um, yeah, but let me know. So I think we're pretty much done with the purple sim. I hope you guys like her. I love her hair so much. It's big and fluffy and totally unrealistic and it's right up my alley anyways. So we're moving on to the last sim which is the pink sim and she's a bit of a cutie, I'll admit. She's very into cats, you'll see that on her shirt and she's also wearing cat, um, what's it called, cat ears as well on a headband and I like how she turned out quite a lot. I love her skirt as well which is made by Trilaike which is one of my, or who is one of my favorite CZ creators. I can definitely recommend her stuff. She's just really really good and thorough and it re like the stuff that she makes it's just really detailed and also really well made so she also makes a lot of k-pop inspired cc actually so if you're into k-pop i definitely recommend you go check out her stuff as well because it's just it's really good and there are several pieces that i've actually recognized some of my or some of the k-pop groups that i follow i 
have recognized some of the pieces on or from them on them. Does that make any sense? Like I've seen it on the artists and then Trelike has made it so I recognized it. That probably made more sense. But anyways, definitely go check her out. She's really amazing. So anyways, for the pink sim, we decided to go for very smooth and straight hair. Yeah, that's what it's called. I was almost about to say flat hair, but that's not a good thing. <laughs> So maybe not, but very smooth, straight hair, and she looks a bit like a schoolgirl as well, except her skirt is a bit party-party. It's very shiny, let's just put it like that. So, but I still see, like, she's, she looks very innocent. I feel like there is, um, there is one wand in the game that has a star at the end of it. I feel like she'd be the kind of witch to choose that one so I don't know the kind of that's kind of the, the vibe that I got from her or the image I had of her in my head and yeah let me know if you've seen the brooms as well what kind of brooms do you think these different sims would have because I'm kind of curious I actually had to because I took I already explained this but I took previously made sims that I'd done and put them in Kaz and then I went into the game because they weren't witches and I had to turn them into witches so I went into the game Took them all through the initiation process at the Sages in the headquarters part of Realm of Magic or the Magic Realm and it took a while to get them all turned into witches but it was worth it because now when they're uploaded on the gallery if you want to download them they'll actually be witches so you won't have to go and turn them into witches yourselves so just uh just want to point that out but it was a lot of fun i got to see how that worked out and stuff as well so basically you go to the sages or to one of the sages you ask them how magic works and they'll have you pick up some orbs that are around the world around uh, the magic realm and then when you've picked up seven you go back to the sage and you turn them in and they'll turn you into a spellcaster and then from there you got the spell book and all that stuff and that's when you start leveling up and getting all the traits and stuff so I haven't really picked like any specific um, magic for them to focus on. None of them are specifically into untamed magic or mischief magic or anything. They're all at zero, so you can start from scratch with these girls if you want to. So um, yeah, but I had a lot of fun with it, so I hope you guys like how they turned out. But yeah, remember the CC list will be up later on this week. I have just not had the time to do it, like I said, and I hope that's okay with you guys. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye!